All right, welcome back again to the second video of this part of the, le the lesson. I simply pressed the stop button. I had Sarah sit down and we are gonna keep going. So that's the idea that I wanted for you guys to pour the paint, click on the next link and then keep going. Uh, you're gonna need a good hour of your time or so to do this part of the lesson. Um, try your best to encourage your child to um, take deep breaths if they get frustrated and use encouraging words to keep them going and we will have a good time. Sarah, would you like to, to read what you always read to start the lesson? I'm gonna show you Sarah's workspace and she's gonna read um, what we always wanna keep in mind when we're doing our art. I got my um, art right here. And then I got my paint that your mom and dad or grab and grip or in a gold pour. And then I got the color. Yep. And I got these if I run out and I need more. Yeah, absolutely. And that's how your mom and dad are next to you because if you need more. Yeah, that's the safest way to do it. And yeah, Sarah has her paper with her hot air balloon sketched out. I completely forgot to tell you to grab that in that video in the video before this. So if you don't have that, you obviously need that to uh, paint, right? You can pause it and then get it. Yeah, pause it, go grab your, your drawing of your hot air balloon and come on back. All right, Sarah, go ahead and read what you want everyone to keep in mind when we're doing art and having a good time with these lessons. Number one, always try your best. Number two, if you get frustrated, take a deep breath. Count to 10, take a deep breath and try again. Number three, everyone's art will turn out differently. Your artwork is uniquely yours. Number four, art is not perfect. And I made up a rule that always have fun. Thank you, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down. Sarah's workstation's ready, my workstation's ready. I'm gonna give you some inspiration right now just by showing, I'm gonna flash you guys some pictures of some hot air balloons that are super colorful. I wanna see the real one. Yeah, Because okay. the real ones are cool. Yeah, this one's a real one. Crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna pass the them to you. people in them. I'm gonna pass them off to you once I show everybody. So if you notice, all of these hot air balloons, mo most of them at least, um, have all the colors of the rainbow in them. Wait, but what if you, I have never been in a hot air balloon. I haven't been in a hot air balloon either. I, I, I think that would that, be fun. Oh, if it popped, oh, that would not be fun. <laughs> I don't think it's very easy for them to pop though. All right, and here's another one. All right. Is that a fake one? Yeah, that's yeah, a fake this one, one is a, a drawing. Okay, I so just, um, we are going to be painting in our hot air balloons. You guys only received three colors, but guess what? You are going to be creating three more colors. Here you go. You're gonna be creating three more colors using these colors. These are called the primary colors. We have red, yellow, and blue. And you can actually use red, yellow, and blue to make just about any color there is out there, okay? So we are going to start with red. And remember how we poured red on number one on our paint uh, on our paper plate? We are going to take our paintbrush and we're gonna dip it in our red. And we are going to oh. paint in number one of our color wheel. So go okay, ahead and get started. Okay. Go ahead and get started. Okay, red. Because it goes like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. That is the color of the rainbow. Okay. Those are the colors. And the if you go out of the line, it's okay too. Uh, yeah, if you go over the line into the other section, oh, no big deal. And I, I did, I'm painting mine and I'm getting a little bit on my paper that I have underneath. I didn't put paper underneath Sarah's because the table that we're working, that she's working on, uh, it washes off super easily. So I, I'm fine just washing it off. But she's that, she, she's writing on wood. Yeah, she's my stand it. is made of wood and I don't want to paint my, yeah. my stand. I guess it wouldn't matter. Ooh. All right, so I'm almost done painting in my my red triangle of my number one on my color wheel. I'm not going to pause the video. <laughs> you're, you're wait, wait, can there. we carry, um, um, can we color the one in? Yes, color right over the one, paint right over the one. Okay, so see how I'm getting really close to the center of my um, triangle right here? This is where the whole idea of art is not perfect comes in, in particular. There is no way that I can get right in there perfectly. So I'm just gonna do my best, okay? Mm -hmm. That's so my mom asked for you to do. Yeah, that's what 
that's all that the adults in your life probably ask of you is just do your best. Try your best. Mm -hmm. All right, when you're done with number one, the next thing we're going to do, this is going to be where we're going to start painting our composition that you drew of your hot air balloon. I'm almost done. You're going to look at your hot air balloon, and I'm going to show you mine right now. And you are going oh, to... Same. What's that? Your hot air balloon looks the same as last time. Yes, this is, this is my hot air balloon that you guys saw me draw last time. I'm going to show you my hot air balloon, and I'm going to pick a, an area in my hot air balloon to color, color, to paint, paint red. Okay, I'm gonna paint one color red. So I'm gonna put you oh, back. Just one, not two. Just right now, I'm just gonna do, no, you know what? Paint yeah, two. let's do two. Let's do two. Okay, everybody pick two areas. Where do you areas. put your paintbrush in the paper towel? No, you put your paint, you're gonna use your paintbrush right now. You're oh, gonna so paint two sections. Like yeah, you can just put it on your paper plate. All right, so pick two areas of your hot air balloon that you wanna color, paint red. And I'd like you to start painting it. I'm gonna t I'm gonna do two. Got paint on the table. I'm like putting it off. Okay. I'm gonna paint two sections. You paint two sections, and then I'm gonna show you where where I paint it. Sarah, you're doing uh, uh, starting a section. Um. Yeah, I have it. I don't know where I'm. Oh, now I know. Wait, wait, wait. Where? Wait, mommy. If we did the zigzag. Are we going to do just this one color? Or it's your choice. So, Sarah, great question. Sarah, can you put it down? Yeah. So I can show them. Sarah, point out the zigzags. Sarah said, so trace the zigzag. Sarah said, do I have to paint each section one a different color, or can I paint that whole zigzag one color? The answer is you choose. Mm -hmm. So you could either do each section one color, a different color, or you can do all that whole zigzag area one color. I think I'm going to do that zigzag area um, Blue, the the two and blue. Okay, so start. Pick an area that you're gonna do red and start. Um, white. All right, I'm almost done with my first area. Me too. And I'm gonna pick another area. I'm just gonna kind of go random. I'm gonna pick random places on my hot air balloon. I picked the. This one. You might be deciding right now in your head that you want to do some patterns of colors. Uh, that is entirely up to you. Or you might decide that you're just going to randomly pick areas and randomly I might choose just, colors. Um, do randomly pick colors, but instead for zigzags, blue. Or maybe in some parts of your balloon you do a pattern, and in other parts of your balloon you do it random. I don't know. You choose. All right, I just finished up painting two sections of and my hot air balloon. And it doesn't have to be like equal, like the top and the bottom don't have to be equal. Totally. Okay, I'm going to show you the two sections I painted in. That's random. And now I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to wipe off all the paint where my red is because I don't, I don't want to um, make a big mess here. Wait, are you going to put it in your water? Yes, I am because I'm going to move on to another color. You're going to rinse off your brush, and as you take it out of the water, you're going to go like this. See the, the rim of the cup? You're going to just kind of oh, I do wipe that all it. The time. You, yeah, you're going to wipe it so it's, again, not so messy. Then you're going to take your paper towel, and you're going to paint your paper towel. Paint it. Yeah, you're going to paint it and get all that extra red off, okay? With paint brushes, okay? We want to make sure that we're using the side of the brush and we're not pushing down on the brush. If you push down on the brush and make the brush furrow out like that, it can ruin the brush. So I'm not going to do that again. So it can ruin the brush. You want to use the brush painting sideways or painting at the tip of the brush. Do not push down on it. When you're drying off a brush, you want to just gently paint onto the um paper towel and so that you don't you don't want to like you don't want to grab it and like yank really hard if you grab it and yank really hard you can rip some of the bristles out so you just want to kind of paint the the extra paint off i did that so sarah what's our next primary color um yellow yellow so we skip two we're going to go to number three so put your two finger parts, two parts okay. put your finger on number three of your color wheel number three Awesome. Grab some yellow and paint in number three. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Number three, we're skipping number two, guys. Skip number two, go to number three. All the colors meet in the middle. They do, they all touch in the middle, don't they? All right. You keep painting in your color wheel. I'm almost done with mine. And I'm going, I've already shown you Joey and Sammy's hot air balloon um, pieces that they did in third grade in the other videos. I'm gonna show you them again while you are painting in your triangle for yellow. So here is Joey's. I can hold them. Well, I'm just gonna go underneath the iPad like this. Here's Joey's. Okay. And here is Sammy's. But we're gonna do not the outside blue, right? We're gonna we're, do it like Sammy. We're gonna, like yeah, we're gonna use a lot more colors outside. But in different sections than Sammy. Yeah. All right. So now that you've colored, you've painted, and I keep saying color, you're painting, we're painting. Now that you've painted in your uh, number you three wedge. It, if you haven't. Yeah, if you haven't finished painting number three, wedge in, pause it until you catch up to me Thank and come on so back much. and pick two sections of your hot air balloon and start painting them in. Um, Yellow. Oh, I'm gonna iron the wire back. So cut. Like I said, you might be doing a pattern or you might be doing it at random. I'm wrapping up my first area. Wait. And now I'm going to do my second area. My first area was like kind of tiny, not really small. I didn't have to paint a lot. I will tell you, if you're going to do a pattern, it takes a little bit more strategizing than if you're just going to do wait, wait, at, at the random. end, can we paint um, for all of the colors wherever we want? We can use more yellow. We can yes, use more red. Yes, totally. We're going to be, after we do all six colors, because six plus six is what? What's six plus um, six? 12. Six plus six is 12. We'll have 12 sections painted, and we have way more than 12 sections here. So we're gonna have to reuse them. All right, I'm gonna show you mine. I painted in those two sections. I'm gonna show you Sarah's. I got a little bit of red. Here, here's what Sarah's doing. Right here, she's doing it randomly. Yellow is like, you can easily paint over it. You can, yeah. So All right, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my paintbrush, I'm gonna dip it in my water. I'm gonna be moving on to my third primary color. It's blue. It's blue. So I'm gonna paint my my paper towel, mm -hmm. and so then I'm gonna put my finger on number five of my color wheel. What number, Sarah? Number five. Five. Grab some blue, and go ahead and start painting. The adult who is sitting with you, I hope you got you are having a good time, spending some time doing art together, because hey, pretty can, soon. Can the mom help, or the dad help um, them color what they need? Help with the painting? Yeah. You know, I'm gonna leave that up to um, yeah. each family, really. Oh. Yeah, okay. how you'd like to do this. Okay, we're painting in number five on our color wheel. And pretty soon, we might need to do some more paint pouring. Uh, me, I don't think so. Maybe for you. Maybe for me. Or blue. And we'll see blue. when we start mixing paint. That's when I we like the blue. That's when we start needing to add more paint. Okay, I've done my, I've done my blue. On number five, go ahead and grab more paint. Yeah. And now I'm gonna pick two areas of my hot air balloon, and I'm gonna paint those two areas. Yeah, but are you gonna show them your hot air balloon? I've been showing them. After each each color that I've done, I've been showing them my hot air balloon painted. Uh, uh, yeah. I didn't sleep, Joel. You've been super busy doing yours. Yeah, I'm, I'm not looking at you or the camera. <laughs> yeah. Just focusing so I don't have to film anything. Are you having a good time, Sarah? Is this a fun lesson? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, I did one section. Now I'm on to my second section of my hot air balloon that I'm... Because you can't pause for this one, right? Because then the paint will dry up on your paper. That's why I asked everyone to make sure they had a, a good hour of their time to do the painting. 
Yeah, because you might have to pause if you're not with us. Yeah, you might even go beyond an hour. I don't know. Beyond? Well, we're going to just go like for like 30 or 40 minutes. The video, yeah, I don't think I'm going to um, have this video go that whole hour. Because once, no way. once I show you what we're doing, you guys can stop the video and just keep going. All right, I'm done with blue. Sarah's painting. I will. Sarah's painting her first section of her balloon blue and then she's going to do a second section i'm drying I, i'm painting my paper towel to or get the I blue off i might not paint it blue because i did blue right here so i might do it like um purple or something that zigzag that you were telling me about yeah. okay i did my two sections one and two so that's how much i've painted of my hot air balloon I'm, I'm going to show you cool. Sarah. Oh, you're doing it on the opposite cool. side? Yeah. Okay, so Sarah is, is maintaining a really neat work area. She has everything organized. She has everything where she needs it. And if there's a mess, we can clean it up really easily. Right, Sarah? Yeah, my hand is like shaking going. Yeah, <laughs> is it? Okay. So Sarah's wrapping up her second um, spot of her hot air balloon. You might be wrapping up your second area. If you're not there yet, press pause until you're done and come on back to me because I am going to move on to mixing our primary colors to make our secondary oh, colors. Oh, we have to dry off our brush. Yeah, you do your brush. If oh. your um, um, water starts getting dirty, you can change it. Like, why is purple? Yeah, so Sarah said if your water starts to get yucky and dirty, you can go to the your sink rinse it out, come back, pour a little bit of water in there. And the reason why we just pour a tiny little bit of water is because sometimes, unfortunately, we accidentally knock things over. And if this water cup goes down and there's just a little bit of water in it, then it, it, then we um, reduce the risk of it going all over our paper. We and like if you do it on your paper just a little bit, it will dry over at night. Yeah. So we, we want the least amount of possibility of our um, of our painting getting ruined, right? We don't want to have a spill. But All right, it's okay if you do it. It, it is okay, but let's let's try our best to just have a little bit of water in there. Okay, we are going to mix our first two primary colors to make our first secondary color of our lesson. So what do you think, Sarah? We're gonna get when we mix red and yellow together. What do you think Orange. we're gonna get? Orange. Okay. So everybody needs to listen really carefully here. This is where it gets tricky and the adults I want you to listen to, okay? When we mix primary colors to make a secondary color, we take a lot of the color that is the lightest and a little bit of the color that is the darkest to mix together. So Sarah, which one is lighter? Red or yellow? Yellow. Yellow. So I'm going to watch me before you do it. I'm going to grab a lot of yellow, and I'm going to put it on number two. Do you see how I grab it? I, I swoop it? it up. I scoop it up, and I put it on number two. See how I did a big glob on number two? Scoop it up. Like that. Yep, and put it right on number like two. Anymore. Do another one. Yep, do a big scoop. And Me look, too. I'm running out of yellow. I'm going to have to pour my, more yellow soon. Me too. Okay, scoop it up and and make a pile of yellow on number two. So. Sarah said that yellow's lighter, so she scooped a lot of yellow on here to number two, and red is darker. So just a little, so little just bit. Just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I, I don't, I'm not even going to rinse my paintbrush. I'm just going to grab a little bit, just a little bit of red, and I'm going to start mixing it with yellow. Oh, I do like a teeny bit, tiny bit of yellow. Okay, mix, 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 mix. Stir, stir, but stir, stir. But if it still looks like yellow and not orange, you could grab a little bit. Okay, Sarah, great point. She said, if it looks too yellow and you want it to look more orange, you grab more red and mix. Just a little bit though. If it looks too red, then you grab yellow and add it to it until, you get, until you get the orange that you want. So I'm looking at my orange and that is the orange that I want. Oh, you you look at your much? orange. So Sarah, if you want yours to be darker, um, yep, red, a little bit more red. And mix it, mix it, mix it until it's totally mixed together, totally, totally, totally mixed together. And then put your finger on number two 
on your color wheel. So I'm going to rotate my color wheel, number two, and start painting in your number two. And you might need to keep mixing and making orange. You just keep mixing and making. This is where the adult two, can two. really help. Okay. Two. Mix and paint. Here we go. Ooh. All right. I am kind of running out of orange. I need to make more orange. I'm a little bit running out. So I am going to... I need myself, I need to pour a little bit more yellow. So I'm gonna open up my container. Nico, can you put I will pour some of yours, yeah. I'm gonna open up my container. I'm gonna pour yellow back on number three. Right on number three. I'm gonna close my lid. I'm gonna get Sarah's. I'm gonna open Sarah's. I'm gonna pour some on her number three. I am not. I think you need to make more. I think you're running out. Yeah, that's why I'm getting more of this. Okay. Now just grab from the side of the yellow. You don't have to keep um, washing your paintbrush. Just grab from the side of your yellow. Or if you want to win rinse your paintbrush, that's fine too. It's going to start to get messy on our plates, and that's all right. Then I'm going to grab a little bit of red. I'm going to mix. These plates to eat. Oh, please do not put food on these plates when we're done. It will not taste good. All right, I'm making more orange. I'm using for food. Not this plate. Yeah, but like these plates, but without yeah. the paint. Without the paint, you can use these paint. The, these plates, yeah. Okay, I'm almost done doing my color uh, wheel section number two for my orange. And I am done. You're done? Beautiful. Because I, I see a big pile of it, and so I'm spreading it okay, out. Okay, sounds good. All right, now I'm going to... Can I show my color wheel first? Sure. Now I'm going to pick two places, so that's Sarah's color wheel. She's going to pick two places on her, don't lift it up, honey, I got you. I, I'm going to, I'm showing them like this, so they can see it. Yeah, it's better than Red, than orange, yellow, blue. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, pick two sections. Wait, wait, are we going to, oh, not wash? No, 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 we're picking two sections, and we are painting those two sections in. Oh, which, I, I, I'm going to do like a little, because I only have like a little. Uh, you can do a I'm little do section if you dots. want. You can make two more dots. paint, two. more orange. I'm getting two dots, Mom. Okay. All right. I painted one section of my hot air balloon in. Now I'm going to do another section over here. My hot air balloon well, is all getting I, all super I have to colorful. Do is all I have to do is tap two times. Oh, you're doing a little circle? Yeah. There you go. Because I didn't like. Awesome, Sarah, thank you. All right. All right, I'm done painting my orange. And if you need to pause it to catch up to me, yeah. pause it. I'm going to show you my I two sections. Mine. I can show yours. Yep, those are my two sections, orange. The, these are Sarah's two sections. She did two circles. And then down here, I'm going to do different color. Okay. That's a great idea. So All right. Do we wash our brush? Wash our brush. I think after this, I need more water. Do you want to change out the water after this? That might be a good idea. Okay. Rinse it, rinse it, rinse it. And then paint your paper towel. Now, we are going to be mixing the next two primary colors, which are yellow and blue. Oh, what if they get on like this? Side? Oh, if it gets on the wood, that's totally fine. It, it washes off. This is mud. Side. Yeah, it did get on the side. All right, Sarah, we're gonna do yellow and blue. What do you? What's your prediction? Are you um, starting to see what's happening here to our wheel? What do you think yellow and blue are gonna make when we mix them together? The yellow and blue. Yellow. Oh, it's gonna be green. It's gonna be green. Yeah. So do you see how it's starting to become the rainbow? Red, orange, yellow. Sarah just said green. And then blue. blue. And, and then, then no, 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 don't say, don't say, don't say. Mm -hmm. All right, Sarah, which one is lighter, blue or yellow? Yellow or Light. blue? Lighter? Lighter. That one is darker and that one is lighter. Okay, so blue is darker, yellow is lighter. So we're going to grab a lot of yellow, right, because it's lighter. So grab a huge blue pile yes. on, put a huge pile of... You always use yellow, I think, but for all of them, I think. We'll see. That's, hey, that's your prediction. I already mixed these before, and like first and second part. 
this we one. did. We did this lesson in first and second. We did a color mixing lesson in yeah, first and second this grade. One. Yeah, we didn't do a hotter balloon. We did a scarecrow in second grade, and we did a wandering black line in first grade that we painted all around. Oh yeah, I remember you doing that with black. Yeah. yeah. So I grabbed a huge pile of yellow and I put it on my number four. Now, remember how we did just a tiny bit in red when we were mixing for orange? Mm -hmm. Guess what? Blue is even darker than red. So we need just a teeny bit little. Just a teeny, teeny, tiny swipe. Not so even. I'm just gonna grab a little tiny swipe and I'm gonna start mixing. Let's see what happens. I grabbed the tiniest little swipe of blue. And I'm gonna mix, 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 mix. Now, if I feel like my paint, my green, is too yellow, and I want it to be darker, then I'm gonna add more blue. So I feel like mine is too yellow. Me too, I did that. I'm gonna add, oh, just a teeny tiny bit more. Just a tiny I bit. I green now. And just keep grabbing a little bit more blue until you get to that green that you want. I got green. If it is, can go even darker Sarah. Really? Yeah. Grab a little bit more blue. It's a light green. It's a light green. We're gonna go with a really really solid green. So just keep grabbing blue until you get... Oh like this one or like... I would go darker. Okay. Okay I'm gonna keep going until I get a really my solid My blue's green. not like yellow. Oh my... Not that much of that. Try it. Put it in if you need to add more yellow. So if it got too, too green, too dark, and you're like, oh no, that's too dark. I, it's looking way too but dark. But you mean this green? Do you want this green, you mean? Yeah, mix it. If it's looking too much like it's turning more towards the blue side, then you add yellow to it. Wait, does this look good? Which I think I might add a little bit of yellow to mine. Mine does look good. Or... Yeah, that's a good green. All right, so I've mixed my green. And I'm going to put, I was on number four on my paper plate. I'm going to go to number four on my color wheel. Please make sure that you find number four before you start painting. Make sure it's number four. Yeah, because if you accidentally do number six. If you do number six, we're going to not have our order correct. And that would be okay. It wouldn't be a big deal. But we're, we're trying to, we're trying to go in the order that it's meant to be. That's why you should follow along with us because if you accidentally. Yeah, don't go, don't go ahead of us. Yeah, you might if miss you something. already know how to mix it, then still don't go ahead. Let's see. All right. Oh, look what I did, Sarah. I got a little bit into my yellow. Is that okay? Yeah, just, oh, yeah that's good. I'm just going to be okay with it. Yeah, if yellow goes in the air, you can just paint right over it. Because it's really easy to paint right over it. Yeah, if you, if you make a mistake on something and you figure out a way to, to make it better or fix it, go for it. If there isn't a way to, to fix it, just leave it the way it is. It's almost, all right. It almost touched it. All right, I'm almost done painting in my color wheel. How are you doing, Sarah? Yep, almost done. All right. I think I got some on the table. That's okay. I don't mind you getting that on the table. Um, okay, now I'm going to pick two sections. I think I need to make more, though. I'm going to grab some yellow on the side. If I grab... I don't. I, I actually made a lot. You're good? If I grab yellow from the center and I haven't rinsed out my brush, then it ruins the whole center of my yellow. So I'm going to grab yellow from the side, and I'm going to scoop it in. I might do more, but I might make more of it. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of blue. I don't know where I'm going to do it. Right here, on top of that, and then... Maybe I'm gonna do the diamond. Um, Go for it. Start. No, not the diamond green. The diamond probably. No, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So Sarah is deciding right now where she is going to paint in her hot air balloon. Well, I know I'm, the first where. I'm doing my first section of my hot air balloon green, and I'm gonna do a second you section. You guys start, too. and if you don't. Like yeah, go ahead and, and get going, and then if you need to pause the video to keep, to catch up with us, yeah, if, like if you're not with us yet, that's on, okay. Um, the color wheel, just pause it right now. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. yeah. The best thing about this is you okay. Can I'm done with my first one, and now on to your second. Um. Yes. Oh, I know where I'm gonna do it. Okay. okay. I, I have enough green. Yeah, I do. Gosh, you haven't had to make another batch. No. 
I had to make another batch. I, I made a wolf. All right, so you might need the adult sitting with you to help you out with pouring, to help you out with mixing, to help you out with... Oh, I got it on the other hand. The mess of paint. The mess. Yeah. Oh, I got it a little bit on the other That's okay. Side. You went inside another section. That's all right. All right. A lot, actually. So I'll show them what you did. So Sarah's like, oh, man, I got it a lot in that section. So see how uh, green is pretty dark and then mm -hmm. yellow is pretty light over there? I might do blue because blue is like dark. Blue is darker than green. If blue could be darker than green in this situation, and you could put I think blue that is on top of it. Yeah, you could put the blue in that area. Or... Yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay, that works. And then I'll show you, uh, I've got my green sections painted Wait, in. Did you, did you do that section too? I, uh, I show them? Okay, I'll show them your whole thing. Okay, you got your two green sections. Rinse and clean off your brush. Rinse, rinse, rinse. If you need some more water, go get more water. Do you, you feel like you need a little bit of uh, a uh, water change? Yeah. Okay, here you go. So we got a lot of cups that we can pour, and then we got one with a lot of water. And here's your paper. Go, grab your paper towel. And I'm going to take this. You don't need that water anymore. Awesome. Okay. Okay, rinse, 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 rinse. I might need a paper towel really soon. Yeah, Sarah might need a second paper towel. I'm going to go ahead and paint my oh. paper towel. All right, I'm on to number six. We are on to number six, you guys. I know what it is. So, we mixed red and yellow. Those two primary colors to make orange, a secondary color. We mixed orange and blue to make the secondary color green. Now we have left to mix blue and red. I know what it is. What is it? I think red and um, red and blue. And what's it going to make you think? Purple. Purple. Okay. Out of red and blue. We don't have yellow in it. No, yellow is not going to be in this one. The darkest is blue. The lightest is red. So how, what do we need a lot of? A lot of red? No. Yep, a, mm -hmm. lot red. a lot of red. Grab a lot of red because it's, it's lighter than blue. You might need to pour more red. Grab a, a lot of red. A lot of red. I'm grabbing all my red. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to pour more. And then grab, how much of blue, Sarah? Teeny bunch, but if it's, you're painting too, um, to a reddish, then you can put more. And my, my, I'm gonna might grab a. Last time when I made green, I grabbed a lot of yellow. That's why I made a lot. Okay, so your strategy, Sarah, is your suggestion to just grab a lot of red from the very beginning. Yeah, I think that's a bunch. Yeah, I'm gonna need to pour more red. I need more red. Or if you have no more red, you could just pour this right here. That's true. Sarah was saying if you don't have any red on your number one, you can pour. If you're pouring, you can just pour it directly on your number six. That works. Yeah, okay, now a little teeny bit of blue. Oh, just a tiny bit. And just grab from the side of blue. I did. I'm going to use that for after, right here. That's why I'm grabbing from the back. Okay. Like that much? Yep. That looks like a good amount of blue. Not okay. too much. I think I might need a little bit more blue. Well, I'm still mixing, so I'll see how it turns out. Oh, I have a lot of it. Oh, man, I just grabbed a lot of blue. This is going to get dark. Well, you could put more red if you don't like it. Okay, thank you. That's great advice. Okay, I think I, I think I think I need more blue. I think I might grab a little bit more red because I think is that good? I think I need more blue. A little teeny. I I agree with you. I think you could get it more blue. More blue. Just a teeny bit if it's there. All right. So once you have the purple that you think looks nice and vibrant for you. You are gonna paint in the very last wedge, number six. Okay, I think I have this purple. I think I like it a little bit. Okay. Oh, I think the red is dry for my color wheel. Y your red is already dry, that's great. Okay, paint in number six. That's the end of your my, color wheel. My um, purple just looks a little bit like that. I think I'm gonna, could I add a little bit blue to here? You can add a little bit of blue there. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I think I need to add a little bit more blue to mine. Oh my gosh, so I added more blue to that, the color of that one. 
And you're kind of mixing it there? Yeah, but it's good. It's not making a big pile. I think I'll do a little bit more blue. Oh, well, now it looks like purplish. Okay, I need to move this over here. If you see, look at my, my paper underneath. It's getting all painted up. Brown, you can have whatever color. Yeah, or you could just use newspaper. Oh, uh, yeah. We don't have much to do here right now. All right. I painted in my purple. What do you, what's the next step going to be, Sarah? Is to paint two spots on your hot paper. But you still have a bunch of more spots, so... You if, do. If you made it big. If you made so it. this is where I kind of say to you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what you said to do, Sarah, which is pour directly onto the number six. You do, do you need more red? Team, like, don't do a bunch because it might spread to other things. Right here on number six? You could add more blue. Lots of... Is it, oh, my. Well, now you have a lot of purple. You Here. And then I'll Can add I add from this because I only have a little bit of So parents, if you are um, adult in the house, you um, can be helping right now with pouring. You can be helping with the mixing. This is a very, very difficult concept. And um, some of the kids in, in our class have been doing this since first grade. If your child hasn't been with us since first grade, this might be new, and so this could be something that's on the on the challenging side to grasp. Mm -hmm. This is not really challenging because I did it until first grade. You did it since first grade. I could just start it. Yeah. Oh my, that's so much. I know. Wait, could you add more blue to this from here? You have no, no. You have. I would just take it from your 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 um. I'm adding like I'm paper putting plate. a lot because then I can add. Yeah, I'm going to get mine a little I, bit. I'm having a lot blue. because I have a lot of red. I have like a bunch more. You pour it so much. Did I? Can't even blue. Okay, I'm making a lot of purple over here. I think I'm going to have a little bit more blue. Oh, this is perfect. I grabbed the, um, the most amount of... Okay. Oh my gosh, you! I made a lot of purple. I would I would put more blue in that. That's looking pretty pretty on pretty much on the red side. Dip more purple. Look, look at this. Look how deep that is. So dip more blue. Uh, my purple is different. Okay, now grab. I just want to paint over because I don't that's like fine. this color. Grab, um, but Sarah, see, look, look at this over here. See how deep and dark it is. Mm -hmm. We're trying to go with um, the deep dark, the the purple that is. Um, but can I draw this this color because I like it? That's fine. Okay. So now I'm going to pick two sections of my hot air balloon to paint in purple. So I am going at it here. Wait, Mommy, are we going to go off when we're not even done? Yeah, we're not going to, we are not going to have the video go our, our entire time painting. Because I'm getting once, more blue now. Once we're done um, with the color wheel, which we just finished, I'm going to give a couple simple uh, instructions going forward. And Wait, then, mine, that good? Or I yeah. added more blue. I would add a little bit more blue. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I had purple too. See, look, I'm going to show you. Look. I think your phone needs a charger. Yeah, I don't, I don't need it. All right, so I'm going to add, I'm going to do another section purple. Oh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do these. Wait, can I do a... A lot of section purple because it's like yes that's a great question because I'm gonna do my diamonds purple mom I okay decided. purple purple is our last color so if you want to just go to town doing a ton all the all the places that you want to do purple I'm gonna do the go three um my three diamonds purple okay that sounds good all right I finished my two sections of purple I'm gonna show you where I am I'm gonna show you where Sarah is and then I'm just going to kind of give you some simple instructions to wrap it up. So I got those two sections. That, so now I've painted 12 sections all together. I did two of each color. Six plus six is 12. Sarah, she's doing her diamonds right now. And um, awesome. And Sarah said, well, can I just keep doing all the, all the parts that I want to do purple? Yeah, I'm going to do these three. Okay. 
So that's, that's where we leave off for the color mixing. You have your color wheel, you have your plate that is all messy and gooey, right? <laughs> but it's organized because we used the numbers and we went around. So the adult who's sitting with you, please continue to help pour and um, help continue to encourage and use the strategies that I explained for mixing the colors and just paint in your entire hot air balloon and then once you're done doing your entire hot air balloon I want you to do all the sections around it so I'm gonna paint for a little while maybe a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna show you how far I got and then me too and I'll show you how far Sarah got and then I'm going to sign off. Sarah and I are both going to sign off. We're going to keep painting and we're going to finish our composition today. I highly encourage you to do the same because it's really hard, not impossible, but it's hard to um, put this all away and then come back and do it another day. But if you need to, I then might, I might, Mama. <laughs> if, I want to go on if you need to, then uh, it's possible. It's not impossible. You would just need, um, you would need a, another paper plate, but here's the deal. You need to make sure that all the paint, if you choose, if you choose to walk away today before you're done painting, this is my rule in order to do that. You have to use all the paint that is on your paper plate. You cannot leave any paint left on your paper plate. Because then it'll get dry. Because we only got a, a specific amount that was poured. I can pour you more yellow. We only got a specific amount that was poured into those containers. So you need to use the materials wisely. There's no way for me to get you more. So. Like I said, ideally you are painting until your entire composition is totally painted in. Not a single solitary spot white. Everything is painted in. And then we'll be ready for the next part of the lesson. But if you need to call it a day, and you need to come back at, on another day to finish this up. My only rule is that you have to, I'll say it again, you have to use all the paint that you've already poured on your plate. Okay? I just pour it. I just got more yellow. Okay. So we've been doing this for about 43 minutes. And I had told you in the very beginning that Probably you, needed, an hour. you needed to give yourself at least an hour to do this, a good hour. So that gives you another 17 minutes or so to take up that time. Or if you paused it for a long time. Oh, you may have paused it. That's a good point. Maybe you have been sitting down for an hour. I don't know. If and it's paused. okay if you go over an hour. It's and it like is okay. Roll. Yeah, if you go over an hour, that is totally fine. All right. I'm trying to make um, orange more orange. Oh, you're mixing more orange. So keep mixing away. The adult, yes, I got it. the adult who's sitting with you can help you if you forgot what you need to do for the mixing while you're mixing more, or you can rewind the video to that section of the color wheel where I'm just trying to use up all my purple. You can, if you're like, oh man, I don't remember how to make orange. You can hit the rewind button and go back to the section of the video. If you guys want to, it's um, red and yellow because I just made some right now. Oh, thank you, thank you. All right. You can always rewind whatever uh, color you're trying to mix. You can rewind it to that section of the video when we were doing the color wheel and listen to those directions again. Okay. All right. So how are you doing, Sarah? Good. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like
like what you're doing. That's a really cool way of doing your design. Sarah is doing um, like an up down striped area and she's using all the same color to in all those sections. She's doing orange. I'll show everybody where you are. I'm almost out of purple and I was trying to I was trying to paint this whole section in purple, but I think I'm running out. You can make more just a teeny bit more. I can. I want to show everyone where I am now. All right. So I'm starting to do some of the sections because I was using up my purple and I kind of ran out of purple. So that's where I left off with purple. And here is Sarah. She is doing, doing a lot of orange. She's doing that orange zigzag across. Okay. So Sarah and I, we're going to work for another um, 15 minutes or so together and see how far we get. If we're almost done, we're just going to keep going till the end and we're going to finish painting because it's a lot easier to just finish in one sitting. But like I said, if that is just not possible for your time constraints or where, where, what you have going on in the day, then you can come back and um, come back and re-pour your paint. Uh, you're going to need to use, obviously, a paper plate from your home then. And I would label the paper plate one through six all over again, and I would re-watch the video or fast forward in the video to the parts where you need um, reminders on how to mix colors. All right, sound good, Sarah? Mm -hmm. All right, so. But I can watch this video whenever. Yeah, you can rewind, you can pause, you can whatever works forward. for you. Whatever works for you. All right, I'm gonna finish up this section right here. Ooh. It's funny, when you mix again, sometimes it's a different shade. Like this. But this that's okay, because yeah. that is not perfect. That's right, yeah. This time when I mixed, my purple was a little bit darker. So. And that's fine. All right, so Sarah and I, we are going to sign off. But Bye -bye. we, Sarah and I, we're going to keep working. I really encourage you to keep going. And make sure that you clean up your work area. Make sure that you rinse out your paintbrush. You're going to be using this paintbrush for the next lesson. So please clean the paintbrush thoroughly, very, very well. If that means running it under the sink and getting it nice and clean, please do that. So I just cleaned up my paintbrush. I'm going to make sure that my paintbrush dries and I'm going to put that in with my art materials. The paint that you have left over, keep using it all the way through the end of this lesson. If you have any paint left over after that, you are free to use it um, however you like. Whatever. You like, um, whatever you want. You can do Perfect. another one if you have a paper. If you have extra paper at home, not anything from your art supply um, packet that was given to you at school. If you have extra paper at home that you can use, that's fine. You can finish up uh, the paint in these containers only after you're done with your entire composition here, your entire hot air balloon. Once you're done, feel free to use the paint up. Then what I'd like you to do is if you are able to, it would be awesome, once the containers are done, rinse them out totally, dry them off, and bring them back to the November pickup, uh, the November material pickup date. And if you don't, it's okay, because we have more. Right, but I, I would love to save on plastic. Mm -hmm. And so uh, these can be reused, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you bring them back to school, I know the teachers would appreciate it for something that they might need them for going forward, okay? Okay. Bye -bye. So thank you guys for joining us for this art lesson. I hope you guys had a great time. I really enjoyed doing this with Sarah. This was fun for me. I'm going to show you Sarah one more time in her yeah. workspace. And then we are going to sign off. Sarah, you want to give them a wave? Bye. Bye.